Jenny is an ordinary village woman living in a picturesque small village in Southeast Asia. Her husband, Paul, works away from home, so most of the family burden falls on her shoulders. She has a five-year-old son named Kevin, who is her whole world. Jenny's happiest moments each day are watching Kevin run and play joyfully in the yard. When he gets tired, he comes back to his mother, calling out, Mom, I'm hungry. Jenny immediately prepares something delicious for her son, and the two of them happily enjoy their warm moments together. Happy times are always short-lived. One ordinary afternoon, Kevin was playing in the yard with the neighbor's kids. The children were playing excitedly when suddenly, a strange van stopped at the village entrance. A strange man got out, pretending to fix the van, and gradually approached the children. He smiled and handed out candy to the kids. When Kevin walked towards the van alone, the man quickly grabbed Kevin and drove away rapidly. Jenny was busy in the kitchen when she suddenly felt a sense of unease. She rushed outside, only to find Kevin missing. The children playing with Kevin told Jenny that they saw him get into a van. She called out everywhere but couldn't find Kevin, feeling utterly devastated. The neighbors joined in the search. Night fell, but there was still no news of Kevin. Despair and fear consumed Jenny, and she quickly reported the incident to the police, hoping they could help find her son. In the following days, Jenny almost traveled to every nearby corner, searching for possible clues. She stood by the village entrance every day, watching every passing vehicle, hoping for a miracle. She sought help from the media, hoping more people would assist in finding Kevin. The story was covered by TV stations and newspapers, drawing widespread social attention. Jenny also joined multiple search groups, meeting some like-minded parents who had similar unfortunate experiences. They encouraged and shared insights with each other. Whenever she heard of a new clue, she would rush to verify it, despite often returning disappointed. She never let go of any possible lead, no matter how far she had to travel or how much of her savings she spent. She firmly believed that as long as she held on to her faith and continued searching, she would eventually find her son. Paul, upon learning of his son's disappearance, immediately rushed home from his job. He felt deeply guilty, thinking he had not fulfilled his responsibilities as a father, neglecting the care and love for his family. He accompanied Jenny in searching for Kevin everywhere and took on more family responsibilities. He had to care for Jenny's emotions and handle the family's financial issues. Days passed, but Jenny and Paul never gave up on finding Kevin. They posted missing person notices with Kevin's photo on various search websites. Their lives were filled with endless pain and despair, but they always believed their son was still alive and would find him. During this period, the couple decided to have another child for comfort, but the second child was miscarried before birth. The couple was devastated. However, to find Kevin, they had to stay strong. Only by supporting the family could they have the energy to search for Kevin. They supported each other, determined not to let any difficulty stop them from finding their son. In the 15th year of Kevin's disappearance, Paul fell ill due to extreme physical and mental exhaustion. Eventually, he passed away in the hospital, leaving the world with unfulfilled wishes. Jenny continued the journey to find her son alone. To earn travel expenses, she took on any work, often doing jobs meant for men, such as carrying cement, moving bricks, and selling vegetables. To provide Kevin with a prosperous life once found, Jenny decided to start a business. She first worked as a sales clerk in a nearby mall, learning while working, and later opened her small shop, which gradually became successful. Kevin was fortunate, his adoptive parents treated him very well, caring for him as their own son and even sending him to university. Despite this, Kevin always had a deep longing for his biological parents. At 25, Kevin had a family of his own. Although his life seemed perfect, he always felt an inexplicable longing. His vague memories often brought up images of his biological parents and his childhood home. With his own child now, Kevin began to think about finding his roots. One day, Kevin saw an advertisement on a search website, noticing that the photo of the missing child at one year old looked exactly like his son. He immediately contacted the search website but was disappointed with the result. 
Later, he followed several other search websites but still found nothing. Kevin never gave up and continued searching for missing children's posts on various websites. Meanwhile, although Jenny's business was on track, she continued to post about searching for Kevin on these websites. One day, Kevin accidentally saw Jenny's post and found the photos of Jenny and her son somewhat familiar, making him excited. Kevin decided to try and see if the lady who posted the ad was his biological mother. He contacted the staff of the search website. Kevin and Jenny exchanged numerous messages back and forth, gradually getting to know each other better. Finally, through DNA testing, it was confirmed that Kevin was indeed Jenny's long-lost son. The 20 years of persistence and search finally paid off. Both mother and son were so excited and couldn't wait to reunite. On that day, Jenny stood at the entrance of the search center, tightly holding Kevin's childhood photo, feeling both excited and nervous. When Kevin walked into the room, their hearts raced uncontrollably. Jenny, with tears streaming down her face, tightly hugged Kevin, sobbing uncontrollably, as if trying to dispel all the past pain. Kevin couldn't hold back his tears either, crying out loud, feeling the deep warmth of family affection. At that moment, their hands remained tightly clasped, and all of Jenny's suffering and waiting were finally relieved. Kevin shared his life experiences over the years and the care from his adoptive parents with Jenny. He recalled that since he was only five when abducted, many memories were blurry. He only remembered the traffickers taking him to the countryside and leaving him with his adoptive parents. The adoptive family had an older daughter, so they treated him very well. Jenny, after hearing this, was immensely grateful, thanking Kevin's adoptive parents for raising him so well. Kevin, seeing the hardships his mother endured to find him, felt deeply emotional. He invited his mother to reunite with his wife and children, promising to take good care of her for the rest of her life, repaying her years of persistence and love. Jenny felt a warm flow in her heart, deeply touched. She looked at Kevin's wife and son, thinking, Kevin is now a husband, a father, and a son, as he also has to care for his adoptive parents. At just over 50, she could still support herself with her small shop. She gently declined her son's offer, feeling content as long as her son's family was happy and they could visit each other during festivals. Jenny's years of persistence and faith finally paid off. She called for more social attention to the issue of child trafficking, hoping for more help and support so that no family would have to go through such pain again, and every child could grow up healthily and happily in their parents' arms. This story not only showcases a mother's strength and resilience but also reminds us to pay attention to and protect every child's safety. Jenny's experience tells us that love and faith can overcome all difficulties, bringing hope and light. Jenny's journey to find her son also showed us the warmth and strength of society. Many kind-hearted people extended a helping hand, providing her with support and assistance during her search for Kevin. These kind individuals demonstrated what great love is through their actions. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.